Oh, no, no, he's back. He's back. Oh, fish on, fish on. Oh, man, look at the way the rod's bending. Guys, we have got a monster trout on. Come on, he's barely hooked. Oh, gosh, he's barely hooked. Come on. Whoa, 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 big fish. Goodness. Look at the boat turn, guys. Look at the boat turning. Oh, it's strong, guys. Look at this. It's just taking line right now. Oh, my gosh, it is a big fish, guys. Oh, this is why you come to Boone Lake, guys. These fish are just so big. What's up, people? I'm super excited about today, guys. Behind me, we have Boone Lake, and that can mean only one thing. We're going after striped bass as well as large brown trout. Guys, I am super excited to get back out on the water. Before I do that, if you know me, I'm gonna take a quick look around, see if I can find some trash. We're gonna try to leave this place better when we find it, and then we're gonna hit the water, and go catch something big. Let's go find some trash. Twisted tea, random Tupperware, guys. The beer can, plastic bottle, McDonald's cup, do the do. That little chicken liver, little liquor bottle, broken glass bottle, sheesh, man. Another beer can, ooh, the red solo cup pretty big plastic bag so guys on days like today there are no clouds up in the sky and so it really does pay to get here early i got here at sunrise and that's really going to help especially with striped bass man look how smooth and glassy it is this morning guys got a blue herring over here with some canadian geese a little bit of mist on the the surface of the water that's just beautiful guys i got my bait from brummett's bait and tackle in hampton tennessee they always do a great job for me so first thing we're gonna do as usual this pitch out behind the boat, a nice free line. And then guys, we'll cruise a little bit further up and I'm gonna set up my planter boards. Man, do you guys see how beautiful this is? This is absolutely insane. Yeah, guys, when it comes to striped bass and hybrid, it really does pay to get here early on days where there's not a lot of cloud cover because you want a good opportunity at a bite window. And sometimes on a, a very bright day, that bite window is very short. Yeah, guys, look at that sun coming up. That is just absolutely gorgeous. All right, guys, we're officially set up. So now we're gonna cruise. Wow, what a beautiful sunrise, guys. Whew, pays to get up early. Nice. So guys, right below the boat, there's a huge pile of shad. It's usually a good sign. Huge mark below the boat. We just went over something really big. The seagulls are on the hunt this morning, guys. Oop. All right, fish on, guys. Oh, fish off. Oh man, so guys, we got thumped. Oh no, no, he's back, he's back. Oh, fish on, fish on. Oh, it went slack for a second, and then I think something else hit it. Okay, here we go. What did we have here? This is a nice fish. Oh man. That was so odd the way it went slack, and then it got tight again. Oh boy, this is a nice filling fish. Oh man, look at the way the rod's bending. Oh. What in the world? Oh, big trout. Super big trout, guys. Let's see if we can, he may be a little bit too green. Let's see. Oh, he's big. Wow. Oh my gosh, you guys, please stay on. Oh, that's big. Oh my gosh. Guys, we have got a monster trout on. Let's see if we can get him in the net here. Oh, he's huge, guys. Come on, he's barely hooked. Oh gosh, he's barely hooked. Come on, get in the net. Yes, I got him, guys. Oh my gosh. Guys, that is an absolute giant. Guys, the hook came out, I'm telling you. That was a close one. Oh. Look at that fish. Oh my gosh. That's one of those fish that may be 30, guys. It's huge. So guys, I wanna show her off and then I wanna get a measurement of her. Oh, wow. Guys, look at the size of that trout. Seriously. Jeez. All right, back in the net. Let's get her wet again. And I'm gonna get this bumper board out. 28 and a quarter is my current personal best. Let's see what happens here. All right, guys, this is gonna be a little bit dicey because she's pretty green still. Oh, wow, guys. Let's point this tail. Oh, 28 and three quarters, a new PB. 28 and three quarters, almost 29 inches long, guys. Look at the beauty of this. Oh my gosh, monstrous fish. All right, let's go ahead and get her in the water. There she goes, just kicks right off. Woo, 
Golly guys, monster fish. All right guys, we just saw that. That is a brand new PB trout, uh, 28 and three quarters, almost touching 29 inches long. Golly man, that was an absolute monster. Let's keep moving, let's see what else we can find. So guys, one thing I'm noticing right away is we've got lots of seagulls right over here. And I mean a lot of seagulls. So we're gonna slowly work our way over this direction. Lots of marks down deep, tons of bait. This is a great scenario. Guys, the bait's at 45 feet. Most of the predator fish right now are at 30 feet. So we are officially in the main river channel here. And boys, the bait's stacked up. This is what you want. So guys, real quick, I wanna talk about wintertime patterns because right now is a good example of a wintertime pattern. I'm gonna show you my fish finder real quick. And if you guys can see, it's 86 feet deep. All of that, that red there, that's all bait fish, uh, which is absolutely insane. So. The first thing you want to do in the winter time, specifically when you're trying to target these big fish, things like big brown trout, striper, hybrid, is uh, you want to make sure you find the bait down deep. Oh, fish, there we go. Fish on, guys. Oh, whoa, 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 big fish. Goodness. Look at the boat turn, guys. Look at the boat turning. Oh, jeez. Okay. Let me get a little tension on there. Wow. Oh, what a fish. Goodness. Oh, it's strong, guys. Look at this, it's just taking line right now. Oh. Whew. What do we have here? Whatever it is, it is a big fish. Oh. Oh, oh man, look at the head shakes, guys. Oh. Oh my goodness, it's a strong fish. Oh, oh gosh, oh, look at that, look at that. Oh my gosh, it is a big fish, guys. Oh, goodness. He is just taking line. Get my net ready. Goodness. Oh, I saw some color there. What was that? Oh, look at that. This is a super strong fish, guys. I'm having a hard time getting him up. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh. This is why you come to Boone Lake, guys. These fish are just so big. Oh, what is that? Oh, big striper, guys. Heck yeah. Look at that striped bass. Got him. Oh, that's a nice fish. Now he got tangled up in the other line, but I don't even care right now. Look at that striped bass, guys. Okay. Whoa. Goodness. Man, these fish. Whoa. This is a nice one. Goodness, it's big. Sheesh. Oh, look at the belly on that thing. Wow, guys. Holy smokes. Look at that, guys. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> oh, what a fish, guys. So big. And there he goes. Going straight down. Man, every time I try to get a measurement and I hold their mouth, I just don't have the, the strength before they just kick off. But, whew, man, what a fish, guys. That was epic. Ooh, ooh, fish on, guys. Here we go. I'm getting messed with anyway. He totally got smoked off of there. Shoot, guys. So I noticed when I was coming around this bend that my bait was getting messed with and he got ripped off. I've got a few leftover shiners and I really want to try some more uh, bass fishing. So we're going to finish up right over here where there's some calm pockets and just see if we can get uh, one or two bass to commit to a bite. So we'll see what we can do. All right, guys. So we've got a standard bobber or balsa wood float about two and a half to three feet down. We've got our shiner and we're just going to try a couple of calm pockets back here before we leave because typically I've seen a lot of shad over the last few weeks back in this coast. And uh, I have a feeling there's a few bass that like to hang out over here. So let's give it a try. Oh, there we go. Fish on. Oh, just missed a fish, guys. Guys, I just missed a bite. The bobber went under, but I had a lot of slack in my line. Let's see if that fish is still around. There it goes. There it goes. Fish on. Oh, yeah. What do we got? 
whoa, you guys are not gonna believe this. A massive bluegill. <laughs> no way. A massive bluegill decided he wanted that. Oh my gosh. I mean, I can literally lip this bluegill, guys. <laughs> that is absolutely insane. He was after that shiner, okay? Not a toughie, a shiner. What a bluegill. <laughs> oh yeah, eight inch bluegill. That is just awesome. All right, see you later, dude. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as me. If you'd like to see more Boone Lake adventures in my kayak, I've got a fun one for you right here. Or if you'd prefer to see me in the bass tracker on Boone Lake, I've got another fun one right here. Till next time, tight lines.